Hello everyone, Crystal here. I'm doing a um, wax haul today. I got this package um, two days ago and I kind of went through and just kind of looked at it. I might go through and um, like take them out and smell them all. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that with you guys. Um, and this is just a de-stash that I ordered. Um, I, think I got it all for $27 including the shipping. Um, and this here is so cute. And this is Pink Candy Cupcakes, and it's from Up the Creek Sense, and it says it was poured on 6 9 so last month, so it's not that long ago at all. And, try to make it. That's really good. It just smells, as I say, it smells like cupcakes. Not very, not like too strong. Um, but not like really light either. Alright, and then this one is called Pink Musk. And this is called from um, Cross Creek Country Candles. You guys can see that. And I'm going to have to get the knot undone here. Alright. And then if you saw, I'm going to have to take one of these out. These are like, mmm, that smells good. I like musk. A little birdie. Mmm, that smells good. Might even melt that in my bedroom tonight. Uh, I love the smell of musk. Mmm, that smells good. I think when I was looking through here, there's a couple others that have musk in them. This is um, from the front porch candle company and this is raspberry lilac and i love lilac so let's see about this one mm. that raspberry really makes it very sweet but you can smell the lavender in it it's not very overpowering either one i'm enjoying it <laughs> all right and then I guess I have a question for you guys. How do you guys store your wax? Because I usually put them in a little um, storage container. I'm um, kind of like one of those Sterilites that have like the clasps and the lid and stuff. But I was curious what other dip people did to store their their wax. You can just let me know. But I'm like running out of room in that thing like really bad. Like I have no room at all. But it's just a small one. Mmm. This one, oh, I wanted it so bad. Like, I almost just bought the whole thing just for this one. It's called Rosemary Mint. I love both things. And this together. Mmm. This is called from Linda's Tarts. And it just says Linda's Tarts Hand Poured. And this one, it seems like it's a little bit older. Yeah, it says it was... It says 1214, which doesn't make very much sense. Unless that's not exactly the pour date and that's um, something else. Another little number they have in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says 12 slash 14. So I'm wondering if maybe that meant something else. Because obviously it's 2014 now and we haven't had December yet. But yeah. Mm. Smell good. I seriously wish you guys could have the smell of vision. But yes, this it's really nice mint. It's not very strong, overpowering, and then you get a little bit of that rosemary in there, and that smells good. And we are a fan of rosemary. We like to make those rosemary potatoes. Now this is from Up the Creek Scents. And this one is Skittles. And it smells like, you know, kind of like skills. It's not very strong, I don't think. It's not very... I wonder if when we melt it, if it'll smell better. It's very light. Not too much scent to it. And, um, the gal that gave them to me, she said they weren't very old, so I don't think it's old, you know. But, you know, it's not very strong, but it's cute. Look at that. I'm going to start in it. Alright, and then the next one. And this is from Up the Creek Candles, too. And this is called Pink Marshmallows. Oh, 
all that cute. All right, maybe I don't think I can take it out, but because it's too hard, some of it's kind of melted. But you see, there's a star, and then in the around the edges, it says "Up the Creek." I think it says "Sense." It's kind of melted right there. But that's cute with the star and pink marshmallow. You can definitely smell marshmallows. It's a nice sweet smell, but not too overpowering and strong. Alright, then this one is from Up the Creek Scents. And there was a lot of Up the Creek Scents in this one. And this one in the center is like a little heart. It's cute. And this one is called Cranberry Peach Cobbler. And I thought that sounded pretty good when I was looking at the little listing. Oh my gosh. You know, like... If, for me, it m reminds me of, like, a peach pie. Mmm. With some cranberries. The girls are going to be so mad that I did this without them. They've been, like... Because I've had this for two days, and they've been wanting to, like, smell them. I just haven't had time. <clears throat> Alright, and this one is... I'll have to open it up. I can't quite see it. It's shades scents with like disease at the end. Alright, and then it's um warm pink vanilla sugar. And it says that it was poured on three thirty one. That's not very old at all. I was going to say, it smells like sugar cookies. And sh you know, sugar. But it just reminds me of sugar cookies. There's something else in there. I can't even take, make it out. Okay. Like, our girls are going to love this. I usually, um, like, because I've been, I'm pretty new to this wax world, but, like, I've been using, like, those name brand Yankee Candles and, like, Sensei type ones. They're, um, they're, you know, I guess a little more common around, at least in my area. So I was using a lot of those. And, um, and, like, the ones we had from Sensei's was, like, birthday cake or happy birthday or something like that. And that's what we put in the girls' room because they like that smell. Um, but these ones, I think they would definitely like that. So I think the rest of them are all these little bags. Alright, so this one is called Peak. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Pink Caribbean Sugar. And it's from Bella, Can Bella Candles N, like the letter N, and then Tart. Oh, it sounds like Miss Rachel may have woke up. I think these are just little hunks that got broken up. There's one more in there. It smells kind of sweet, but not... I don't know. Not too strong. I don't know. I would, I would say that it's, it's, a, it's not um, a bad smell. But I don't see myself, like, paying for that one. Like, I don't think I, I personally don't think there's just that much, you know, it's not that great. Alright, um, this one is Fluffy Pink Cotton Sheets, and it's from Closet Full of Wax. And there's two of these hunks in there, and this one smells like kind of like, you can definitely smell the cotton in there, but it almost seems like maybe, like a little bit of, it's almost like a, I almost think it's like cotton candy, but a very, very low, low smell of that, but it's like a sweet cotton. And then the other one in there is really glittery. 
I'm sure that they're the same, but this one just seems really, really glittery. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I hit the light on it right, but you can kind of see it shimmer. Yep. This one's good. I was excited for this one because there's a lot of variety of um, vendors in this one. Alright, this one's Sassy Girl Aromas Strawberry. Oh my goodness. Sansoma. I don't know how to say that. Ice cream. Horrible with those. New words. Ooh, that's really strong. It must be the, um, whatever that word is. But you can still, you can smell ice cream, you can smell strawberry, and then that other tone is really, really strong. Mm. I wonder if the girls would like this one, otherwise I might be de this one, because I personally think it's too strong for my liking. But I can be kind of picky. Alright, this one's an Upper Creek scent, um, and this one is Watermelon Confetti Cake. And I think there's only two little two little tarts in there. You can smell the water on oh my goodness. Mmm. Looks like this one was poured on five eight. Cause it, cause it seems like it's kinda low in size when they're low you think they maybe they're a little bit old, but no, this isn't oh, it's just a lower tone. I like it. I almost feel like I need to, like, have, like, almost like they have the coffee. In some places you smell the coffee and then you smell the wax. I think, like, my nose is a lot of scents going on. Alright, and then this one is from the Front Porch Candle Company, and it's Pink Cotton Candy Lilacs. This is another one I want to smell because I love the smell of lilacs. sweet and then you smell the flowers oh i love lilacs growing up um in the backyard right from the porch all the way back to the fence and around half the fence in the back there we had lilac trees or i should say bushes but they were huge oh brings me back when you open that back door all you could smell is them lilacs mm. I might be ordering some of these. It's been hard for me to find like a good lilac scent. If you guys can recommend any, that'd be great. Alright, well that was all I had. And like I said, I got all of that for um, $27 shipped to my house. And then that covered the PayPal fees too. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty excited. I did order um one other one and that'll be coming in soon and then i probably won't be ordering any more for a while because i don't want to have a big old stash and i'll be able to use it all so that's all i'm going to do for now um well i guess there is one other one coming in it's just a single tart i'm going to be reviewing it so look forward to that review here soon um she's a new um a new new to the whole wax thing and she just wanted people to try them out so i'm excited for that you know be a little reviewer um, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!